Start spreading the news. The Abel sales next Monday. Hello friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. It's been a while and I know it's been a while. I'm really, really sorry, but I'm back and I'm back with some really great news. Da, 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 da. The Able Summer Sale is coming. First of all, I just want to say I'm looking a little bit better than I did in my last video. I've had my hair cut. Do you like it? I'm also growing my grey hairs out. So if you see some sparkling, it's my silvers. Feeling a little bit glam. I'm ready to try on some bits. I'm ready to answer a few questions. I actually put a question and answer box out on my Instagram um, yesterday and I've got lots of questions about the Able Summer Sale that I'm going to go through today. So before we get into your questions, here's a little bit of information on the sale. It starts on Monday the 29th of July, 7pm BST. You get up to 60% off site-wide and that includes Able and Able menswear. And on top of that, you're welcome. My code is still stackable. So you can actually use my name. My discount code is Nini and that will get you an extra 10% off whatever you buy. It's basically free. Girl math. It is one of the hottest days of the year today. So I am really, really excited to try on a million things. So I'm always sweating profusely while I do these try on videos for the uh, summer sale. So please forgive me if there are any sweat patches later on. I can't help it. You girl's a sweaty girl. Anyway, let's start with the questions. So I've written them all down on my phone and we're going to go through some of the most frequently asked questions about um, products that are going to be in the Able sale. So first question is from Sarah and Sarah's question is, what is your favourite range from Able? Easy peasy, my favourite range from Able is the Empower range. That is my most worn. I pretty much wear that three, four times a week. I love absolutely everything in the Empower range. This is what the Empower range looks like. It is one of their best sellers and it has a little bit of a scrunch bum. It has some contour detailing around the bum here and around the rest of the leggings. And the fabric is really super stretchy and really like, it's quite compressive, but it's not too much. I really struggle, as I say, I'm such a sweaty person that I struggle to um, regulate my temperature in the gym. So normally with compressive leggings, they tend to be a little bit thicker, but these are like still quite a thin material, but they do hold you in really, really nicely. And they are such a sculpt in beautiful legging. I can't fault these at all. I really, really, really love the Empower range. One thing I do want to note with the Empower range is the sizing is a little bit looser fitting than normal. So I do size down one full size in, across the whole range. So for example, with the leggings, I wear an extra small, whereas I normally would wear a small. I'm a size eight, um, a UK eight. Um, so I would normally wear a small, but Empower leggings, tops and crop tops and everything else from the Empower range, just size down one size from your regular size. The bras from the Empower range are also really, really gorgeous. Um, they, again, are one of my most worn. And I really like how open the back is. They're not an open back bra, but the straps kind of go into one at the back, which makes it look really nice for back day. So when you're doing your lap pull downs and things like that, you have pretty much all of your back out. I found the Empower bras pretty supportive. I don't feel like I'm ever gonna fall out of them. They are not the most supportive, but they do have, I'd say probably a medium support. I do have quite small um, chests, so they are absolutely perfect for me. But even bigger chested girls, I feel like this is a really like substantial bra um, and will hold you pretty much where you want to be held. So 10 out of 10 for the Empower range, 100% recommend that must be the first thing that goes in your basket. If you're an umming and, if you are, um, if you, if you are umming and ahhing, <laughs> if you're umming and ahhing about picking the Empower range, one million percent would recommend. Okay, next question is from Asia. Um, best non-compressive bottoms, but still look good on the booty. I'm gonna say Empower again, but I'm also gonna say Power. So there's two different ranges that are very similar names. We've got Empower and we've got Power, and they are pretty much like sisters to each other, I'd say. The Power range is a little bit newer and have a, has a few different features to the Empower, but they are both pretty compressive and both 
beautiful on the bum. With the Empower I'll show you here, this is the Empower range that I'm wearing now. So the Empower range has a slightly higher waistline, it also has a bum scrunch and contouring around the bum and the legs, whereas the Power is a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit more simplistic in the design, there's no contouring around the um, bum or the legs. It does still have the bum scrunch, which I really really like, and the waistband is a little bit lower. So you've got kind of almost a mid to high rise waistline, um, as opposed to the Empower which is definitely, I'd say, the higher waistline. I really love both of these designs for compression and um, looking good on the beauty if you wanted something like that. Next question. Okay, this was quite a popular question. Um, I got this from a few girls um, and it is, what type of underwear goes with the Able leggings or is going commando better? It's totally up to you. Um, I normally just wear like a seamless thong or like a barely there thong um, because I personally don't really want to wear big knickers underneath leggings. Um, I prefer it to kind of look seamless. I'll show you, wait one sec. Is it weird showing knickers on the internet? Probably is. But we're all friends here, so it's absolutely fine. So normally I wear something like, <laughs> is this weird? I wear something like this, which is just a really like super cheap pair from um, Primark in the UK. So if you've got something similar, I don't know whether Primark is worldwide, but these are literally like, you get three pairs for a fiver and they are a teeny tiny little, just, you may as well not be wearing them, but I just feel a little bit more secure when I'm wearing those. So I like to wear those. Or we've got these, which again are from Primark. Um, these are just the, seamless so the ones that don't have any stitching around the edges i like these but the smallest size is still quite big so that's why i went on to these because these um even though they're an extra small they were kind of like bunching up slightly so i do really rate seamless knickers but maybe not the ones from primark with most colors you don't really need to worry too much but for example with something like this i would probably wear a skin tone rather than a white because i feel like that would show through the lighter um material of these leggings so yes completely up to you but i wear something like that i'm just gonna stay on this kind of vein of question whilst we're here um i got another question from a girl called taylor who said can you see nipple piercings through the bras now most of the bras come with added inserts so you can actually remove them or you can keep them in i generally keep them in because i don't like to have my nipples on show so um when you have the bra pads in you can't see anything. There is a range called the Essential Strappy, which I think if I'm right in saying is the only range that doesn't come with um, removable inserts or a place to put your inserts. But I normally just take an insert out of another bra and just put them in because you can, you can see through like a single layer if you do have like piercings. So um, generally no, if you do keep the bra pads in, if you take them out, you're probably gonna see nipple piercings, but I feel like it's like that across the board. Okay, we've got a question from another Sarah. Any non-cropped tops? Yes, there are non-cropped tops. I generally don't tend to steer towards them because I don't think they fit my body shape right, so I don't have many to show you. But um, there's a whole range of vests and t-shirts and like sculpt fit t-shirts. The sculpt range is really, really nice. I'll show you that here. This is a full length one. Um, they also have full length jackets and zip up tops and things like that, which are really, really nice also. And I just wanna show you this one. This is actually described as a crop top, but it is like not super cropped. This is the halter, halter neck. This is the halter neck, um, which comes down. Let me just bring, I've got an able bra on underneath. So the bra sits here, the halter sits like here. So there's a little bit of skin showing, but it's not too much, but these are divine. These have actually got a built in bra in the back as well. So you don't have to have a bra on underneath but it just gives you that little bit more coverage and support underneath and a little bit more coverage this way. So you've not got as much as your stomach out if you were gonna go for just a sports bra. So that is one of my favorite um, more coverage tops. Yeah, there's loads of different options on the website for things like t-shirts and stuff like this that are more coverage. Look at that sweat mark. I am so warm here, guys. Right, let's speed up. Okay, next, I've got a question from Ava, which is best leggings or shorts for leg day? And also Steph is asking, best shorts, please, but not too short, no booty shorts for me. Okay, I got you, girls. 
So my favourite, nobody's going to be surprised, is the Empower range yet again. These are the normal length Empower range shorts um, and they also come in a cycle length, which I really, really love. I think these are so overlooked. I say this every video um, that I talk about these shorts. I feel like the cycle short length is severely underrated. These have a little bit more length on the leg and offer so much more coverage uh, compared to the Empower shorts. I'll show you here. This is the Empower in the normal length, which I really love. I don't mind a boot short, um, but I do tend to wear it with like a baggy t-shirt. I think it looks really cute. And then these ones are the cycle short length, which as I say, offers a little bit more extra on the leg, which means you can still hitch them up if you want them a little bit more like in the booty. Do you know what I mean? But you do get that extra little inch, inch and a bit just down the leg. So you're not really showing everything. So those 100% are my top faves. I also really like these. These are the Balance V2. Um, they are a little bit on the shorter side um, if you do prefer like cycle length shorts. I'm pretty sure these come in cycle length as well. I'll have to double check that on the website, but um, if not, these are a little bit longer than the normal Empower shorts. So I really enjoy these and reach for them quite often. Oh, I'm dribbling. We've got a question from um, Tony Marie. She says, would you recommend the t-shirts to and what size would you get? Yes. I really, really love the, I, I li literally live in the Able t-shirts. This one, I have sweated in it because I've been sat crouched over like a shrimp, but this is one of the tees. They are essential oversized tees, I think the range is called. <laughs> and they've got cute little slogans on the back. They've got so many different designs. Um, what size is this one? Let's have a check. Pretty sure, yeah, it's a medium. So I normally wear a size small in the tops, like bras and things like that. But with t-shirts, I like them a little bit more baggy. I like them a little bit more oversized. So I size up one size from what I normally wear and they fit like really, like quite nicely. I'll put a few different examples here as well. So you can see um, like a few of the different designs. I really love all of the I really do love all of the different designs they do as well. They've got so many different colours and different styles. And they all really complement like the colours of the gym wear and things like that. So I've got a, quite a quite a hefty selection of them and I really enjoy them. They wash really well. They don't really need to be ironed that much. I normally hang them dry in the wash-in line and just like flick them and they're all right. So yes, would recommend. What is the length like on the leggings? So I am five foot two. I think they fit really, really nicely on the whole, on the whole. Oh my God, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I trying to say? This is what I'm trying to say. So yes, generally five foot two, they fit me quite well. I know there are some taller girlies that may find them a little bit too short, but they have released a new range called the Staple range. And these ones are a little bit longer in the length. Um, I find these a little bit too long as a five foot two girl. I need to kind of take this much up, just a little bit of a roll. Let me compare them to one of the Empower ranges that I've got next to me. So this pink pair is the Staple range and the green is the Empower range. Ooh, yeah, that is a big difference. I've met the crotches here, so. The pink pair is a good inch, inch and a half, maybe even two inches longer um, than the Empower range. So I think this range would be good for the taller girls. This, as I say, is the staple range. Um, really nice pair of leggings, actually. I really, really like the, I know we're not talking about shorts, but I really, really like the shorts in this staple range. Um, but the leggings are a little bit longer if you are a taller girl or a girl with longer legs. Um, and find that other range is a little bit too short. But yeah, if you are on the taller side, I would recommend trying the um, staple range because beautiful legging and a little bit longer. Um, are the leggings squat proof? What are the best leggings for RDLs without the world seeing my underwear? <laughs> Pretty much all of them are squat proof. The only colors that I'd probably say are a little bit less squat proof are the lighter colors like the um, spring green the mint green of the um staple and perhaps the orange empower and there's a pair of white shorts that are like not sheer like they're not sheer at all i'd probably say that they're probably about 80 percent squat proof i have no problem in any color like i'm quite happy to do my rdls i don't care who's looking but i know a lot of girlies are like really 
particular about not being able to see your knickers. So I would steer away from the lighter colours. So there's this one and in like a white pair that are a little bit sheerer than completely opaque. I may or may not do a squat test here. I'll see how like suitable it is for the internet. But to be honest, pretty much everything is squat proof and I would be more than happy to recommend pretty much everything. Next question is a question about bras. So Ellen has asked, size recommendations for the crossback bra compared to the Empower. This is the crossback bra. It is divine. I really, really, oh, this bra is just beautiful. Um, I'd pretty much say it's bang on true to size. If anything, if you are between sizes, I would go down a size. Um, but if you are pretty much a standard size small, for example, I'd pick a small. Um, but yeah, this bra is just, it's got my heart. I really, really love it. It's got a little bit more length on the front. So it gives you a little bit more coverage on the front and the back is just impeccable. 100% if you like the Empower bra, you will love this bra. As I said in the beginning of the video, the Empower was one of my favourites because it's got quite an open back. This one is like a completely open back, but is still like super supportive. You don't feel like your boobs are going to fall out at all. The black is my most worn. Um, in that one but yeah true to size if you are between sizes size down I'd say. Next question is a question from Chan please let me know which is the best joggers and um, hoodie sets what are your faves? I'm wearing it right now I'm gonna show you this is the Empower uh, oh my gosh I've said Empower so many times I'm saying it this is not the Empower this is the Varsity range and these are just <sighs> so comfortable so gorgeous I really, really love them so much. I think I might actually wear a pair every single day of my entire life um, since I got them. So this is, I'm pretty sure this is grey marl. I feel like they're really flattering on the bum. The waist is really, really nice. Maybe I should do just a clip of a video. I'll put a clip of a video in the side here. Um, but yeah, the waist is really nice. The tops are gorgeous. They've got a really big Able branding across the front, which I think is pretty cool. I really like the design of them. The tops as well, the uh, hoodie tops are quite short. Like they're not cropped, but they're not like long length hoodies. So I feel like they fit like really nicely and you look kind of oversized and like baggy, but not too like drowning in material oversized, if you get what I mean. Ooh, this is a controversial one, Katie. What would I avoid? Hmm, what would I avoid? Okay, I'm gonna say, it. This, I feel like this is personal preference because there's not actually anything wrong with the product, but let me show you. I'd probably avoid the bigger style, like, bras. So, for example, the Balance and the Balance V2 and Balance V3 have this style bra which i really enjoy the size and the shape of it but it doesn't have oh it does have it does have okay it does have i was lying completely it does have removable pads but i feel like because it's such a big space on the front the pads kind of sit there and you can kind of see the outline of the pad if you know what i mean so I just, I think I'm just a minimal bra kind of girly. So I don't tend to reach for like the bigger bras. Um, but as I say, there's nothing actually wrong with the product. I feel like this is like personal preference. It's just something that I would, I rarely pick. I might try it again. Do you know what? I've not even worn one of these for about a year. I might even like them now. I don't know. But this kind of top, that's my answer. That's all I'm going to go for because... I pretty much think that I like everything. Let me have a look through my drawers. No, I don't think I'd like not recommend anything else. Like I really like everything if I'm honest. Um, I'm just gonna say that the bigger tops that I just personally wouldn't go for. Um, yeah. So second to last question, best for the sweat test. Girls whose kitty sweat, I need this info as it's really addressed. That was such a bad, that I read that so wrong. Let's try again. Which are the best, best, I think I've just written it wrong. <laughs> Which are the best leggings for the sweat test? Girls whose kitty sweat need this info and it's rarely, rarely addressed. 
Very true. I say it all the time. I am so sweaty. Like, I feel like there's probably sweat patches under here now, but I am such a sweaty girl. So you've asked the right person. Um, I have much experience with just sweating out of everywhere. As soon as I walk into the gym, I feel like it's an anxiety thing. I've had it all of my life. I am just a sweaty person and I can't help it. So there are definitely some ranges that are better than others. Empower is great. This is why I love Empower so much because I can wear colours and it doesn't really show that much sweat. The Marl colours are really, really good. They have a little bit of a different, um, well, they have a Marl kind of fabric rather than a solid colour fabric, um, material, I should say, fabric or material. Um, and that really kind of helps disguise any sweat patches. I will probably steer away from um, staple in certain colours or core in certain colours. Those two I have found the fabrics don't really, they aren't great for sweaty girls. So the lighter colours in the core or, I need to get some examples. Okay, it's so it's so hard to say because like some are really good and some like from even from the same ranges, some are really good um, and you can get away with like having a little bit of a sweat in them and some are not so good. So for example, in the staple range, I find these really good. These are the lavender, I think they're called or they're just like whatever the purple color is called. Oh, vibrant violet, I remember. They're called vibrant violet because I couldn't say it and I can't say it again. Vibrant violet. Um, I find these really good because they're quite light. I don't feel like when you sweat, it's that noticeable. Um, but from the same range, these ones, I think these are olive or khaki. These ones show a little bit more for some reason. So same range, same exact shorts, but the colors like don't lend themselves to sweat that much. So yes for the purple, still yes for the green, but also you can see the sweat a little bit more. Same with this, so yes to the purple marl in the Empower, but possibly no to this colour in the um, core shorts. So I feel like fabrics that are very like, what's the word? Like not a marl fabric. So something like this. Can you see these little like bits in the fabric? So the slightly different colours. I feel like anything like this is absolutely perfect because it dis disguises the sweat. Whereas when it's a solid colour like this, I feel like you definitely get like a distinct sweat mark. Power is great. The new power range, I feel like even though these are quite like, what did I just say they were? non marl solid colour. Um, even though these are a solid colour, it's so weird because that is the same colour as this pretty much, but this is a lot more sweaty than this. I feel like I can't give you a good answer. So if you watch this, I'm going to reply to you actually. If anybody wants to know like specifics of specific products and where they rate on the sweat scale, leave me a comment because I'd be more than happy to answer because I feel like I've tried pretty much everything and can give you an accurate, re accurate representation um, as to what is good and what is not. But generally, pretty much, a lot of things are really good. Staple and core, I have noticed the most um, like noticeable sweat patches if I were to wear them in the gym. So yes, that is my answer. <sighs> I feel like I'm the expert. <laughs> okay, last question. What are the most flattering? Can we see you in all of the ranges? Yes, you flipping well can. I'm gonna do a little try on of each of the most popular ranges so you can see you can choose which is most flattering. I'm gonna say Empower and Power. Um, size down in both, size down in both of those two ranges. Everything else, true to size. Let's just do a little montage, shall we?
Okay guys, that is everything. I hope that was helpful. I hope it was informative for you guys before you shop the April sale. Don't forget the sale starts on Monday the 29th of July at 7pm BST. Just a reminder, you can get up to 60% off site wide. And if you use my code, which is Nini, you will get a further 10% off your basket. One last thing, I will leave an early access code in the description of this video, which you can sign up and get early access to the sale. Whatever you do, don't fill up your basket before the sale because it will be emptied. The site will be on lockdown for the day, so you cannot peruse the site the day of the sale until it opens. So make sure you get your wish list sorted prior to that and don't fill up your basket because it won't be there when you get into the site. As always, if you've got any questions, you can leave me a comment down below or you can reach me on social media, which is dailyjlh on Instagram, dailyjlh on TikTok, or you can leave me a comment here. It's completely up to you. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible before the sale. Just before I go, I wanted to say a massive thank you if you use my code to get extra discount. That really, really helps my relationship with Able. I work for them as an Able athlete and I really, really enjoy it. So using my code really, really solidifies my um, relationship with the brand. So I just want to say thank you so much. If you do decide to use it, I really, really appreciate you guys. Anyway, happy shopping. I hope you get everything you want. Please send me pictures on Instagram because I just love seeing what you guys pick up in the sale. And I want to see you all slaying in your new outfits. So I'll see you next time.